My name is Kyle Thompson. I'm the director of Buildings and Grounds for the mecklen teensville School District. The Homestead High School is approximately half a million square foot high school. It can hold 1,800 kids, and today we've got about 1,400 kids. With declining kids is declining revenue from the state, which means declining budgets. Um, at the end of the day, that sounds like a good mix, but unless we're shutting buildings down, my cost really doesn't go down. I still have the same amount of parking lots to plow and maintain, the same square footage of buildings to heat and maintain. So there's really is a challenge there. One of the big problems was they would just simply shut things off at night or they would turn set points way up or turn set points way down. The building wasn't real healthy. So the first thing we did was take an audit, made sure that the equipment we had worked and ran correctly. And once we got that all working, and we got everything turned back on and need to be turned back on because buildings are designed for proper ventilation. So we got everything back up and going. And then that first electric bill came. What the heck are you doing down there, Thompson? How, how can we have jumped so big in power? So then we, we did a recommissioning of the building. When we got through with that, again, we, we weren't saving a lot of money. We, we just, we weren't finding it. it were, there was no one big magic bullet out there that was saying, there it is, that's our problem. So that's when I, asked Train to, to work with me because they came to me with this, this program that seemed almost too good to be real at the time. And, and I said, well, let's, let's look. You know, we've done a lot, but let's take a look. Once we got it in and we started analyzing things, oh, immediately you could start seeing several little things. And, and those several little things soon equaled, well, there it is, that's, that's the magic bullet. They initially came to us because they were having a difficult time with demand at the school. So the initial things that we did with them were to just get our arms around what was going on with utility consumption in the building. We used 15 minute interval data that was available from We Energy and put it into energy optics so that we had the ability to take a look at uh, essentially how the building was living and breathing. What it showed us was that overall um, the building was being operated pretty well. After we were done looking at the optics runs, we kind of collaborated and said, let's see if we can't knock these peaks down um, just with better operating strategies. And so that's the, that's the path we went. Using energy optics, then we kind of got through a couple of different quarters of looking backwards. So it seemed to be the appropriate time to bring Train Energy Manager into the picture and, uh, and look at it real time. So we built our key performance indicators around things that made the, the environment in the classroom better. The piece that I really like the most from this is that we didn't bring a lot of heavy steel in. We didn't replace boilers. We didn't replace chillers. We didn't replace air handling units. We didn't do any of that stuff. That the train energy services and the optics that, that came into our building allowed us just to look at how we're running. And are we running correctly? The train energy solution folks, they'll get in there and they'll look at our optics runs. They'll look at what, what our building's doing. And if they see something that, that's weird, they'll actually enter a ticket. They actually have access to our systems. They can remotely enter a ticket. That comes right in and goes right to my HVAC guy. And the integration of, of being able to have another set of eyes looking at our stuff, it's great because we're hoping to look at it, but I've got one HVAC guy for a million square foot. And it's kind of hard for him to see everything. Optics makes it a lot easier for us to do that, but it's nice to have that one extra step that train provides for us. When we look at where we were, what a high watermark from from KW and where we are today and what we're actually saving. And again, we're saving that without spending a lot of money. We didn't put a lot of heavy steel and stuff into our buildings. We're saving about $5,000 a month. Eventually, as we keep running our optics and we keep working with the train energy services, I see that, that $5,000 number moving even more and, and continually being able to reinvest those dollars into the district. I'm very happy with everything that we've accomplished here at Homestead High School. We've saved a lot of money. We've reinvested that money right back into the environment. And I'm really excited that we're gonna be moving this process to the rest of the buildings here in the Mecklen-Thienstel School District.